So you don't drink anything at all, Oliver? Carmel, porridge and roots. What kind of roots? Tree roots. Oh, don't be absurd. How can one drink tree roots? Natural mystic. Natural mystic. The drink made from boiling certain roots. Well, we don't have any. Hey, Donna. Mm -hmm. Just bring us some ital ice water. We have a mango tree around the back. Maybe you could ask Donna to cut off a piece of the root and... and Jane, never forget the way them crucified Jesus and sell Marcos for rice. Fine. Mother. I mean, can't you try to be friendly? Let's just talk about something Frankly, that's I don't see where we have anything to talk about. I think this whole thing is just a big embarrassment planned by you to get Eden because we told you you could not go to Orlando. Okay. If that's the way you feel about it, we were on our way to Oliver's place anyway. And Donna, this is a lifetime decision you're making. And if you walk out of here now, you're not welcome here anymore. Jane. She's my doctor. Let's go, Oliver. That's true. Jaff forbid to dine with I and I enemies. Some will eat with you and drink with you and behind your back. Donna, you mean you're going to Oliver's place to meet his parents? Oliver doesn't live with his parents. Dreadlocks can't live in a tenement yard. Too much so 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 so. Who does he live with then? He lives on Mongrel Hill. Mongrel Hill? Mm -hmm. Isn't that where the police have carried out several raids? Yeah. Babylon want to crucify the dread. Then who does he live with? Some brethren. Some brethren? Bingy, Congo, Bongo, Dirty Locks and Sister Jezebel. The whole of we live good, like one big happy family. Share everything. All right, let's, let's change the subject. Let's, let's eat. It's done, done. Sure. Hey, Oliver, are your parents alive? Seen. Are they still married? Who? Oh. Your mother and father. I'm my father. Oh, you mean your mother and father got divorced and he remarried his present wife? No, man. My father married to his present wife long time, long before I born. Don, can't you see how ridiculous this is? What's so ridiculous about being in love? He's not your type. Like the prophet Marcos Mosiah said, I have a dream that one day black man and white man, Jews and Gentiles... Wasn't it Martin Luther King who said that? <laughs> ja would never give the power to a bald head. Look, mother, I'm old enough to be able to formulate my own opinions now. I would appreciate it if you would respect them. True. No. Now I'm being a fella fashion monkey. So hmm. if you walked in here with a moronic monkey and said, Mom, Dad, this is cheetah, were we supposed to accept it? I did not walk in here with a monkey. You didn't? Hey, come daughter. Let's go share the shelter of I and I single bed. So you're going to leave your coffee at the room and go suck on some hill with this this lunatic? Mm-hmm. That's my decision. Many more will have to suffer. Many more will have to die. Don't ask me why. Oh, can't you see what she's doing to us? What? Eh? What? His brother is a criminal. And soon our family will have a prison record. Yeah. That's so stupid. This stops the terrible Babylon system must fall. We soon have a thousand last children calling us grandma and grandpa. No multiplication. Don't sound like such a bad idea to me. But what if they call to us in front of people? <laughs> Mother, if you could just hear how stupid you sound. Sure. I'm afraid I have to agree with Donna, you know, dear. And do you want to spend the rest of your life listening to my little Donna? Oh, 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 oh. My little Donna. Mother, I'm in love. I mean, you can understand that, can't you? Don't be foolish. You think you can just walk around and love any and anybody, sir? It's I and I shall call any or anybody. I chose Oliver over a million other men in Jamaica. Not sure. Hey, she's going to look iry when our dreadlocks grow. Dreadlocks? Dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. Listen, you still want to go to Orlando, dear? I'm not sure. I'd much rather spend the holidays with Oliver. Going to dances and growing with dreadlocks. Oh, oh, hey. I'm pressure. Call the doctor. Stop me. I can't take this anymore. Call him right away. Donna, bring the food. Is what sort of food? Chicken. You do eat chicken, don't you? Well, I'm on the regular practice still, but seeing like oh, this is a special occasion. 
roast chicken Oliver. Irie? With bacon trimmings. Wasata trimmings? Mom, didn't I tell you? No pork. It isn't pork. It's bacon. I'm an embarrass. I'm an ridiculed. I'm an insulted. I'm an... So serious. This bacon strips all over the chicken. Oliver, you just have to eat the vegetables. Here. Source of vegetable. Oliver, the chicken is contaminated with pork. I mean, it's laced with bacon. Put it in a cookie night now. Oliver! So you will do with that now. I'm going to put it back into the oven. Look, we can just eat the vegetables and later we can write to Port Royal. You mean we have to go through all that trouble? Let me put this away. No, man. Just scrape off the bacon and give me the chicken. Oliver, stop kidding. You know you won't go near to anything that's been cooked with pork. I'm not kidding. What? Just scrape off the bacon and give me the pork. Oliver, don't spoil it. Oh, oh, oh um, Dad, uh, Mom, you know, if, if I get that trip to Orlando, I'd be willing to forget this whole thing and, and sacrifice Oliver. Good. Donna. Good. Sorry. Very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It was all a put up job, a joke, oh, a trick. Oh, God, thank God. I'm so relieved. Oh, God, well, let me help you. No, Mrs. Robinson. Leave the beer can. Don't scrape off the beer can. Leave the beer can. <laughs>